Okay, you're live. Good evening. Uh, this is a meeting of the Board of Trustees of the Village of Sleepy Hollow. Um, the uh, meeting was delayed because we were in an executive session. I'll get into that uh, later. Uh, first, uh, let me say that we are meeting via teleconference uh, pursuant to the governor's emergency order of uh, early spring last year, uh, which allows us to uh, meet in this manner and allows you to participate as well. Uh, this meeting was noticed on the village website um, through village emails and on the village bulletin board and in other places that we normally uh, and regularly notice our meetings. Um, I'm going to begin uh, by taking roll to make sure uh, to ensure that we have a uh, quorum. And I'll start with uh, Trustee Gebler. Here. Um, Trustee Scaglione. Here. Deputy Mayor Rosenblum. I'm here. Um, Trustee Levy. Here. Trustee Spiro. Here. And that gives us a quorum. Um, thank you for that. Uh, we will begin our meeting as we um, always do with our regular meetings with a Pledge of Allegiance. If you'll join me by standing and reciting the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic, the Republic and for which is the nation of God, God and the visible world, liberty, and with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, it is also our practice to remember those members of our community who passed since our last meeting. Um, and since our last meeting, we lost Arlene Towers of River Street at the age of 72 and Jose Javier Salazar Soriano at the age of 54 of Chestnut Street, um, way too young. Our thoughts um, go out to their families uh, and their friends um, please uh, pause with me for a moment of silence. Thank you. Uh, we will begin our regular meeting in a moment. Um, first, I just wanted to address something that came to my attention yesterday. And uh, that is something that um, disturbed me greatly. Uh, and that is that uh, a member of our Department of Public Works was traveling around the village in one of our vehicles with a Confederate flag um, inside of the vehicle. I have to say I was uh, tremendously upset about that. I continue to be upset about that. Um, there is no place for these racist symbols in our village. And there is absolutely no place for those kinds of racist symbols or any other symbols of hate on village property or in village vehicles. We have uh, met with council. Uh, we have a path before us uh, that we were following so that we can address this situation. A, an investigation is underway and will continue and we will um, use um, the resources that we have to properly address this situation. Later on this evening, we will consider um, a first draft of a policy uh, to prevent this kinds of things from happening in the future. Again, uh, I am uh, truly appalled um, that something like this would happen, uh, especially knowing that um, this, this symbol of hate was in one of our vehicles and people knew about it and didn't say anything about it. Um, unfortunately, um, that's who Sleepy Hollow is today, um, that we have these kinds of activities going on and we have people that are not noticing, not saying anything about it. We have a lot of work to do in front of us um, to end this scourge. Um, members of the board, does anyone want to address this at this time?
Okay. Sorry, we're just to just to agree with what you said, and I think you know we all feel the same way, and we want to address this as soon as possible. And we were all shocked, I think, to to hear that something like this had happened. I will echo that by saying it's really disappointing to see that something like that happens still here. Mm -hmm. uh, appalled, unacceptable, uh, and clearly um, action needs to be taken. Yeah, I just want to say thanks for your impassioned words. And uh, it's, it's totally unacceptable. And as a board, we spent the last hour talking to the attorneys about it. That's why we're late for this meeting. You are, um, I've never seen you so upset as a friend. And um, I just, uh, I don't think you're going to sleep well tonight. And I just want you to know that, you know, we have your back and, and the village Hopefully this isn't something that is, is rampant in the village, our employees, hopefully it's just a one-off thing, but the investigation that's gonna happen will show. You know? mm -hmm. Thank you. We have work to do and we will uh, continue with that. And this evening uh, to move to more um, mundane matters. Uh, we have a warrant uh, that was distributed um, earlier to the board. If there are any questions on that warrant, um, uh, please direct them to the treasurer, Ms. DiGiacomo, who's joined us uh, for this meeting. A motion to approve the warrant. In the amount of? Oh, sorry. What is the amount, Sarah? <laughs> 933,656.83. So a large one. Yeah. So we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Seconded. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We'll move seconded. And se moved and seconded. <laughs> Um, didn't think it would be that dramatic. Um, the um, uh, a couple of large items that are in that, just for the record, uh, Ms. DiGiacomo? There were two. Um, one is our monthly health insurance bill, the NYSHA bill, in the amount of $201,969.63. Um, but the larger one was um, in the amount of $416,863 and 34 cents that was one payment to joke in development for our Cortland street sewer and drainage project that was a very large one thank you um any further discussion or comments on the warrant all in favor say or signify aye aye aye, aye. aye. uh any abstentions or nays the warrant is approved. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, we had the minutes of March 9th that were um, distributed early to the board as well. Uh, any questions, uh, any amendments, edits on the minutes? No. Move Motion to, to approve the minutes of March 9th. Sorry, Glenn. Moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Those or, abs or uh, abstentions? I'm going to abstain. Please note the abstention of uh, Trustee Levy for the record. And the minutes are approved. Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to, um, uh, before we move to uh, public comments, um, I have a couple of comments. Um, that I would like to make um, uh, a couple of things to just uh, notify people of. Um, the uh, offices of the village will be closed this Friday uh, for Good Friday. Um, the Any uh, sanitation routes that are scheduled for Friday will be picked up on Thursday. Also, Village Hall uh, will be opening to the public uh, this coming Monday. Um, uh, Monday, April 5th, um, it'll be open. Please continue to wear a mask, observe social distancing practices and so on. 
but you will be able to um, uh, get back into the building uh, to conduct business there. Um, also wanted to note that anybody who's trying to get to a vaccine site, uh, Westchester County is offering a paratransit um, to folks um, who need that. It's free transportation. If you need transportation, you can call 995-7272. Call at least 24 hours beforehand. That number again is 995-7272. Uh, also, um, a holiday event this weekend on Saturday, the, I didn't make this up, okay, it's a terrible pun, but extravaganza, mm -hmm. yeah, the eggs extravaganza mm -hmm. will be taking place at Kingsland Point Park. Um, you must pre-register, uh, those protocols are still in place, so you must pre-register. And to do so, call 366-5109. Again, 366-5109. Uh, I also wanted to congratulate um, our police officer, Guzzo, and his wife, Lisa, on uh, the birth of their son, Anthony. Uh, I understand that uh, mom and kid are both doing well. So our congratulations to them. Um, and uh, that's a... Uh, a wonderful moment I know for their families. Um, I also wanted to address something else that I've been fairly passionate about um, <laughs> over the years. And that is, um, this is the last meeting of two critical members of this board, um, Tr Deputy Mayor Glenn Rosenblum and Trustee John Levy. Uh, we've been working together for many years, longer with Glenn for many years um, and have been, um, strong members of this board, allies most of the time. <laughs> um, their contribution from the village is never ever gonna be properly um, accounted for or known. Um, the amount of work that they've done that you've seen, um, you can appreciate. The amount of work that you haven't seen and that you never will see, um, only those of us who've directly worked with them um, will ever really know that. But um, guys, thank you. It has been incredible working with you. Uh, I'm so glad that we had this opportunity um, uh, to do this. I would have loved it uh, to gone on. Um, uh, not forever, there's a sunset for everybody. <laughs> um, but it, it just, I cannot um, thank you enough. And I think the village um, should do that as well. I, I know I speak for a number of people, but for me personally, uh, you guys have been incredible. Um, thank you for being colleagues. Thank you for working for the village and thank you for being friends. And I look forward to continuing that friendship. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Ken, very much. It's been a privilege to uh, serve the village uh, and to work with all of you and um, also to work with uh, the village staff and our consultants. It's been a true pleasure. And I'm grateful for the support we've received from residents that have allowed us to serve the village for this long. And um, very, very grateful for all the time we've spent together and for the good things we've done for the village as a team. So thanks. Yeah, I just also wanna say thank you to the village staff. And it's been a, an honor and privilege to, to serve the village as a trustee for the last six years and it went by so quickly. I'm excited for the new trustees and I just wanna thank all the trustees I've worked with over the years, the uh, members of our uh, planning board, zoning board, all the committees, all the dedicated people, residents who've helped, helped me in my job as a trustee uh, and, and, and honestly, all the village staff, they've been wonderful and, and dedicated employees and especially you know our mayor who's into, I don't know how many years now, 15, 12, uh, it's just- uh, 84. It, it, it's a tough job and, and uh, I just did it for six and I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I set my own term limit. So thank you, Ken, and the rest of the board, you're doing a wonderful job and I look forward to the future. It's, it's gonna be very bright. So John, what are we gonna do on Tuesday nights from now on? 
<laughs> We're going to come to the meetings and get on the, on the mic and complain, no? Huh? We'll figure something out. We will. Three three minute roll. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. Thank you, guys. You've been amazing. Um, I also want to welcome um, uh, Tom Andrews and Jared Rodriguez, uh, who will be joining the board next Monday at our organizational meeting, uh, which will be at on Monday at seven o'clock at Village Hall. Uh, it'll be in Village Hall. Uh, and for both of them, uh, I want uh, to note that you've got some big shoes to, um, to fill. Um, and we hope you're up to it. Um, and um, we we'll look forward to continuing the progress that, uh, that Glenn and John have, have brought to the village. Again, thank you guys so much. Thank you both. I will miss both, both <laughs> of you terribly. Uh, I, I came on with John and... Uh, Glenn, you, you got me on board with all this and I'm gonna miss your guidance and um, your, your wisdom and uh, you both will be missed. Denise, now you're gonna be the senior trustee. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> that we'll find out. All right. Um, Okay, uh, we're gonna move on to public comments. Um, if you wish to address the board, you may do so now. Please be reminded that, uh, or I will remind you that you're limited to three minutes. You may address the board on any subject that you choose. Mr. Giaccio, is there anyone who uh, wishes to address the board? No comments at this time. Thank you, sir. Uh, I would just note that we have another uh, point in our meeting uh, uh, towards the end when uh, we um, accept uh, and encourage public comments. Um, we'll move on to resolutions. Um, first up, um, we have um, a resolution on approving uh, police reform and reinvention plan. Uh, I'd like to say a little bit about that, but if we could get um, the resolution read first. Uh, and we can do it uh, if it gets moved and seconded and we can enter discussion. Could someone- I'll, I'll, I'll take this one if I, Thank you. if I can. Resolution of the Board of Trustees of the Village of Sleepy Hollow approving the police reform and reinvention, reinvention collaborative plans and recommendations. Whereas on June 12, 2020, Governor Andrew Cuomo signed Executive Order 203 requiring local municipalities with police departments to develop a reform plan based on community input. And whereas the village appointed volunteers to serve as a collaborative for the purposes of developing the aforementioned plan. And whereas on March 18th, 2021, the collaborative held a public meeting to hear public comments on the police reform task force plan and received over 50 comments. And whereas the collaborative held several other small meetings and conducted a survey on the community's interaction with the police and department. And whereas the, the draft police reform plan that was developed has taken into account all the above feedback and now therefore be it resolved that the board of trustees hereby adopts the village Sleep, the Village of Sleepy Hollow Police Reform and Reinvention Collaborative Plan and recommendations in the form attached, subject to non-material changes, and be it further resolved that cert certification of such plans shall be transmitted to the New York State Budget Director as required by Executive Order 203. Um, before before I, I move it, um, would you want me to uh, take this opportunity to read the recommendations? Yes, please do. Okay, yes, I think that that would be important um, as well, thank you. Uh, as, let me see, as we work against the New York State deadline that requires a submission of report by Village, Hall Village of Sleepy Hollow on April 1st, the collaborative is making the follow initial recommendations to the Village Sleepy Hollow Board of Trustees. The first one is to continue the work of the collaborative through the end of 2021, specifically, the collaborative will continue to review and analyze policies and the work practices of the Sleepy Hollow Police Department to ensure that communities of color in Sleepy Hollow are both treated and supported equally 
and that policies or practices that are biased or could be biased are identified, addressed, and ended. Number two, provide real-time Spanish, English translations and other translation services as they are identified. At the village meetings, strengthen existing and develop, implement new communication channels with Spanish speaking residents and with all communities of color with Sleepy Hollow to ensure consistent information exchange, support and transparency. The third one is increase training Implicit bias, de-escalation, domestic violence, and leadership. Number four, crisis intervention coordinated with other communities. And number five, increase community poli po uh, policy, policing. Uh, policing. So moved. Seconded. Thank you. <laughs> Moved and seconded. Thank you. Um, just uh, to start off the discussion on this, I think the most important um, one of the recommendations um, it, before the board for consideration is is the very first one that says that this um, uh, collaborative uh, will continue through the rest of the year. Um, it's clear uh, through the work so far. Um, that what is is needed is additional um, study, uh, additional outreach, um, and the opportunity to implement recommendations as they come up and come through the collaborative and are are presented to this board, and then to look at those uh, recommendations as they're implemented and, and see if they're actually working. Um, so and have a way of monitoring that and having it come back. Um, so that we can make sure that it was a good decision and the, the um, expected uh, and needed um, outgrowth uh, of that um, recommendation uh, is being met. Um, it, it is also important to note where this came from uh, and, and that it came from a requirement of New York State uh, from the governor for all municipalities but, uh, throughout the state to undertake these studies, to make these recommendations and have these reports. Um, and that's the, the kind of simple way of saying it. Where it came from, the reason that um, the governor did this is because of the murders of black folks around the country, most notably George Floyd um, by police officers and said, let's make sure that we are not doing things um, overtly, unknowingly, in any way at all, that are in any way um, continuing something that could lead to that kind of horrific uh, activity. Um, so take a careful look at your police department and make sure that the policies are um, not um, um, hurting communities of color, um, they're, they're not uh, overtly or inadvertently doing so, that the practices, um, so as those policies are implemented are also not doing that, um, take a really careful look at that. Um, Sleepy Hollow um, is not one of those communities where these horrific acts of violence have taken place. And we wanna make sure we keep it that way. Uh, we wanna work closely with, continue to work closely with the community, uh, with residents, with our police department and continue the kinds of efforts that we have done over the, the, the last several years um, to make sure that we have a police department that reflects the community that um, it is protecting and supporting. Um, and um, this collaborative will continue through the rest of the year for exactly that reason, uh, to con continue that work. Um, so I support uh, this resolution um, I want to uh, recommend that the board, I am recommending to the board to approve it. Um, and I look forward to continuing this really important work with members of our community um, through the rest of this year. <laughs> Other discussion on, on the motion? I'd just like to add that I think it's really important that the collaborative is planning to continue, not just past this deadline, because there's always room for improvement as time ch times change, particularly. Um, 
So I'm, I'm happy to see that it's going to continue. And, and I would also um, say too, especially uh, being on the, um, the committee, uh, that we're really uncovering some, you know, tools and resources that we that we're going to be identifying to to help move it forward. And I think it's really important as a board that we start understanding what that looks like for the police department, but more importantly too, for us to really be able to analyze and, and take a look at things um, as we had talked about. And then the other thing is, you know, the, the there's so many other outreach programs that we really need to keep a keep it touching. You know, I know that we have the police advisory forum. That's another way in reaching the community and, and certainly continue to do the um, the smaller outreach that we've been doing as well. That all feeds the collaborative. And I think that's really important to understand that we need to continue to do that as well. And we are. So um, I continue to look forward to that work as well. Great. Any other discussion on the motion? All in favor, say or indicate aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? Resolutions approved. Uh, our next uh, resolutions on uh, the pandemic plan that we have discussed in our work sessions over the last um, few weeks. Mr. Giaccio um, will um, address that during discussion, but if we could um, get uh, if I could have the resolution read, please. I can read it. I got it. Resolution of the Board of Trustees of the Village of Sleepy Hollow approving the public health emergency plan. Whereas the state of New York has enacted legislation, Labor Law 27-C, which requires public employers to adopt a plan for operations if the governor declares a public health emergency involving a communicable disease. And whereas the village has prepared health emergency plans in accordance with the legislation, and whereas the law requires the village board of trustees to adopt the plans by resolution, and now, there, now therefore be it resolved that the village board of trustees hereby adopts the plan for a continuation of operations in the event that the governor declares a state disaster emergency involving a communicable disease in the form annexed for the village of Sleepy Hollow subject to non-material changes. And be it further resolved that the village clerk shall post the adopted plans in the necessary locations per the adopted legislation. So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor say aye or indicate aye. 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 Uh, no's or abstentions. The resolution's approved. Resolution number four on the budget. Resolution of the Board of Trustees yeah, of the Village of no, Sleepy no, no. Hollow to set a public hearing regarding the 2021-2022 budget. Be it resolved that the Board of Trustees hereby schedules a public hearing to be held at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, April 13th, 2020 at Village Hall, 28 Beekman Avenue, Sleepy Hollow, to discuss the tentative 2021 through 2022 budget. Be it further resolved, the village clerk shall give due notice of this public hearing in accordance with the village code. So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Or indicate aye. aye. <clears throat> Opposed or abstentions? Resolutions approved. I'll take this one. Resolution of the Board of Trustees of the Village of Sleepy Hollow to set public hearing authorizing tax cap override for 2021. Be resolved that the Board of Trustees hereby schedules a public hearing to be held on Tuesday, April 13th, 2021 at 7 p.m. or shortly thereafter at Village Hall or to hear and consider comments from members of the public on the proposed local law authorizing a property tax levy for 2021 in excess of the limit established in general municipal law 3C. Be it further resolved 
that the village clerk shall give due notice of this public hearing in accordance with the village code and the provisions of the municipal home rule law of the state of New York. So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Um, just a <clears throat> short observation. Um, this board has overridden the tax cap uh, every year um, since it's been instituted. Um, and as observers of our activities um, know, <laughs> there have been years when we had um, tax increases uh, that were more than 2% and we were under the tax cap somehow. And we had tax increases that were um, less than 2% and we were over the tax cap. So it continues to be an interesting thing that, that Albany has uh, imposed on the rest of the state and continues to be something that um, uh, we choose to override because it is um, bizarre. Um, any uh, other discussion on, on the resolution, on the motion? All in favor say or indicate aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? Uh, and the resolution's approved. Um, next up, uh, the Blackboard Connect contract. I got it. Resolution of the Board of Trustees of the Village of Sleepy Hollow to authorize the mayor to sign the Blackboard Connect agreement. Be it resolved, the Board of Trustees of the Village of Sleepy Hollow authorizes the mayor to sign the attached agreement with Blackboard Connect to provide notification services and reverse 911 calls. So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Seconded. Um, Mr. Mr. Mayor. Uh, yes. Uh, that reference to reverse 911 calls, if I can ask the clerk or Anthony, was that in their proposal or was that a carryover? Because I didn't see it in their proposal. It's a carryover. Okay, so should we should it be stricken? It could. It's 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 kind of part of the system. Okay. But okay. isn't that no. part of the system that we had to make sure we had? That's why we're using them. Yes, yes. So that's what, is that the reason why you're calling that out? Because it's specific to something that's important that we need to have. Yes, we, we uh, I looked into uh, transferring over to do emails through our website, which we can, but they do not uh, support the 911 reverse phone calls, which mm -hmm. we, we have used. We don't use it often, but we do we do use them, and we have been using it for the last many years. That's okay. Uh, I believe we got a second. Um, any further discussion on the motion? All in favor, say or indicate aye. Aye. Opposed or abstentions? Resolutions approved. Uh, resolution seven. Uh, I'll take this. Um, resolution of the mayor and the board of trustees of the village of Sleepy Hollow approving traffic study. Whereas the board is desirous of hiring a traffic engineer to conduct a traffic study along certain sections of Broadway, whereas Frederick P. Clark Associates has submitted a proposal to provide this service, and whereas the village administrator has reviewed this proposal and has found it to be acceptable. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the board of trustees hereby approves the attached proposal from Frederick P. Clark Associates in the amount of 11,500 to conduct a traffic study along certain sections of Broadway. So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor say or indicate aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? Resolutions approved. Um, the resolution eight. I'll take it. Resolution of the board of trustees of the village of Sleepy Hollow accepting retirement of police officer, whereas Michael Hayes, police officer of the Sleepy Hollow Police Department, um, 
indicated his intent to retire by the attached letter submitted by New York State Retirement on March 9th, 2021, and effective March 28th, 2021. And whereas said retirement notice letter must be formally accepted by the Village of Sleepy Hollow Board of Trustees. And whereas the village by resolution number 07 138 03, dated July 15th, 2003, adopted a policy for employee termination and rehire. And now therefore be it resolved that the village accepts the retirement notice letter submitted by the New York State Retirement System dated March 9th, 2021 and effective March 28th, 2021, commencing at 4 p.m. and finds that the termination rehire policy of July 15th, 2003 applies and be it resolved that a copy of the policy is forwarded to and a copy be placed in his personnel record with proof of service. <clears throat> and be, excuse me, be it further resolved that police officer Hayes has been employed by the village of Sleepy Hollow Police Demar Department since 2006 and the Board of Trustees wishes him all the best in his future endeavors. So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor say or indicate aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? The resolution is approved. Uh, what was listed as resolution nine is being moved to new business. Um, so what was resolution 10 uh, from the Sleepy Hollow Volunteer Ambulance Corps um, would be our next um, action item. Could somebody please read the resolution? I'll take it. Uh, resolution of the Board of Trustees of the Village of Sleepy Hollow confirming the actions of the Ambulance Corps. Whereas the Board of Trustees approves the actions and recommendations of the Ambulance Corps members as stated in the enclosed memo to the board, which is attached. Be it resolved that the Board of Trustees directs the village clerk to notify the ambulance chief in writing of this resolution. And I'll just quickly read the memo. Uh, Mayor and Board of Trustees, please be advised at our March 2021 20, monthly meeting, the following members were voted into the Ambulance Corps for membership. Anthony Fernandez from Yonkers, New York and Devin Bethesia of Sleepy Hollow, New York. Also the following members were reelected into the same positions for 2021-2022. And that would be Angela Martello as chief, Melissa Ojito as assistant chief, John Pasca as second lieutenant, Simon Cohen as third lieutenant, Tristan Smutek as treasurer, and Devin McManus as secretary. Please follow the normal uh, course of action. So, so moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor, please say or indicate aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? And the resolution is approved. That concludes our resolutions for the evening. Yes, sir, uh, Mr. Mayor? Mayor, sorry to interrupt, but you skipped R3. Was that the <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't. Um, thank you for catching it finally. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't want to uh, interrupt. Yeah. I guess I was on a roll. Um, <laughs> so uh, if someone could please read this uh, important resolution, please. And move this resolution. Uh, I'll read this first one. Uh, second resolution approving settlement of action by Amenta Development Company for property located at 145 North Broadway, Sleepy Hollow, New York. Whereas proceedings were commenced in New York State Supreme Court, West Chester, excuse me, Westchester County to challenge the tax assessment for property located at 145 North Broadway by owner Amenta Development Company. And whereas the village and the property owner reached a mutually agreeable resolution for the aforementioned pending proceedings filed under index numbers 9327 12 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5,
And whereas because of a, of a delay in approving the settlement, 2019 taxes came due and the property owner challenged those assessments in a proceeding filed under index number 56090-19. And whereas it has been recommended to the Board of Trustees by its assessor and attorney to resolve this litigation, now therefore be it resolved, the Board of Trustees authorizes the village attorney to execute a consent judgment in substantially the form as attached to these resolutions, settling the claims in all respects with assessed values for the 2019 tax year as set forth in the assessed value reduced to columns on the schedules at the end of these resolutions. And be it further resolved that a refund for the 2019 tax year is authorized in the amount set forth in the anticipated refund columns on the schedules at the end of these resolutions subject to adjustment by an increase of not more than 5% or a reduction in any amount upon final calculation after entry of a consent judgment implementing the settlement. So for 245, is it 245 or 145? So we have two addresses here. No, it should be 145. Okay. Excuse me. No worries. Uh, so 145 North Broadway, tax year 2019, assessed value reduced from $575,000, assessed value reduced to $494,250, assessed value reduction of $80,750, anticipated refund of $7,042.68. So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, say or indicate aye. 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 Opposed or abstentions? And the resolution is approved. Okay. So <laughs> now. Still have two more to go. Yeah. So my training was that the chair cannot read resolutions, <laughs> okay? So that would mean one of you would, should please step forward to do so. All right, I'll do uh, it. Thank you, ma'am. Resolution approving settlement of action by 44 Beekman LLC for property located at 44 Beekman Ave, Sleepy Hollow, New York. Whereas proceedings were commenced in New York State Supreme Court, Westchester County to challenge the tax assessment for property located at 44 Beekman Ave by owner 44 Beekman LLC. And whereas the village and the property owner's attorney have reached a mutually agreeable resolution for the aforementioned pending proceedings filed under index numbers 56984 slash 15, 55571 slash 16, 557, 18 slash 17, 55606 slash 18, and 56092 slash 19. And whereas it has been recommended to the Board of Trustees by its assessor and attorney to resolve this litigation. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Board of Trustees authorizes the village attorney to execute a consent judgment in, substantia in substantially the form as attached to these resolutions settling the claims in all respects with assessed values for the 2015, 16, 17, 18, and 19 tax years as set forth in the assessed value reduced to column on the schedule at the end of these resolutions. <clears throat> and further be it resolved that the refunds for the 2015, 16, 17, 18, and 2019 tax years are authorized in the amounts set forth in the anticipated refund column on the schedule at the end of these resolutions. Subject to adjustment by an increase of not more than 5% or a reduction in any amount upon final calculation after entry of a consent judgment implementing the settlement. So for 2015, the assessed value reduced from $141,200, reduced to $114,563, assessed value reduction $26,727, anticipated refund $2,058.02. For 2016, the assessed value reduced from $141,200 has been reduced to $113,848, 
the assessed value reduction was $27,442, anticipated refund $2,392.59. For 2017, the assessed value reduced from $141,200, assessed value reduced to $103,564, assessed value reduction $37,636, anticipated refund $3,269.92. 2018, <clears throat> excuse me, $141,200 for the assessed value reduced from and the assessed value reduced to is $105,000. Assessed value reduction, $36,290. Anticipated refund, $2,838.83. And for 2019, the assessed value reduced from $141,200 uh, to the assessed value reduced to is $105,000. The assessed value reduction, $36,290. And the anticipated refund, $3,165.06. Ah, so moved. Second in. Uh, sorry, there's a there's an error. Yeah, there's a typo in one of them. Yeah, two well, 2018 and 2019, the reduced from and reduced to values are the same. And so is the assessed value reduction, but the anticipated refund is different. Council? The that is true, and I don't know where the error is, but if you approve it as it is now, uh, it will be verified before we pay it. I'll, ver I'll, I'll check it tomorrow, uh, and it can be reduced by any amount. So approve uh, it may now. May I also interject? Um, it would the refund would be different because every year the non homestead tax rate is different. So it, it would be different. Okay. So the assessed value can be the same, but because the tax rate is different. The amount of the taxes due or overpaid um, could change. Got it. That makes sense. Okay. Right. And we will be reviewing everything before, believe me, before we pay anything back. Okay. Uh, I think that was moved and seconded. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we did have a second. So any further discussion? All in favor say aye or indicate aye. Aye. Opposed or abstentions? And the resolution is approved. Okay, I'll read the last one. <laughs> you all waited for here. Yeah, good job. You guys quit? This, this so, is one that you should enjoy. Trustee Gebler blinked and we'll read the. There resolution. you go. Yeah, this one is shorter. So, resolution approving settlement of action by Headless Horseman Entities Incorporated for property located at 410 North Broadway, Sleepy Hollow, New York. Whereas proceedings were commenced in New York State Supreme Court, Westchester County, to challenge the tax assessment for property located at 410 North Broadway by owner Headless Horseman Entities, Incorporated Headless Horseman, and whereas Headless Horseman failed to pay taxes over those years, and whereas Headless Horseman currently owes $81,144.22 in unpaid taxes, and $101,598 in interest and fees to the village for those years, unpaid taxes and interest. And whereas Headless Horseman has been in a bankruptcy proceeding since 2012, and whereas the village attorney and Headless Horseman's attorney have reached a mutually agreeable resolution for the unpaid taxes and interest and fees, and whereas pursuant to that resolution, the village one will be paid $105,000 in full satisfaction of Headless Horseman's unpaid taxes and interests. Two will be paid $20,562.35 for currently due village taxes. And three will set the assessed value for the subject property based on a market value of $600,000. 
And whereas it has been recommended to the Board of Trustees by the village attorney to resolve this litigation, litigation, now therefore be it resolved, the Board of Trustees authorizes the mayor to execute an agreement in substantially the form as attached to these resolutions. So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Um, any discussion? Only that I never thought we would have to take the headless horseman to court. This is not, this was not the restaurant. This is a service station. No, I mean the, oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. the headless horseman. Excuse yeah. me. There's a joke in there somewhere. Um, <laughs> and, uh, um, Got it, Rochelle. It's worth it. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Or indicate aye. Uh, opposed or abstentions? The resolution is approved. Now I'm going to gingerly move forward and say that we have completed our <laughs> resolutions for the evening. We have. An, an appropriate <laughs> pause. Okay. <laughs> And we'll move on to old business and new business. Um, I, I would just note uh, uh, there one new business item is the board is considering uh, a policy um, covering um, displays in uh, village vehicles and on village property. Uh, and one that um, the board feels um, needs to be um, uh, tighter and has recommended um, some uh, changes uh, to um, our attorneys and we're looking forward to seeing those uh, updated changes to the policy as the board uh, looks to adopt uh, this policy for all employees. Uh, members of the board, fair assessment? Yes. Okay. So we will uh, revisit this uh, likely in our work session and uh, in a future board meeting uh, and look forward to adopting um, this policy. Uh, is there any uh, old, other old business or new business? And uh, uh, I'll ask the clerk if there are, is, are any communications. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, good, okay. Um, yes, there's a communication that came in from a resident on New Broadway uh, regarding the uh, paving of the street, and I forward that to you and the Board of Trustees, and that, that's all I got. Okay, and that will be included with the record for the meeting, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, anything else uh, from members of the board? If not, we'll move on to public comments. Um, Mr. Giaccio, do we have any requests um, to address the board? Ann White would like to talk. Uh, please uh, go ahead, Ms. White. Please be. Uh, please remember that you have three minutes. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can. First, I would like to um, thank Trustee Lee Trustees Levy and um, I had the opportunity to work quite extensively with uh, John Levy and saw how effective he was at, at getting things done. And I've um, worked less often with Glenn, but um, I know that he's extremely, was extremely effective too. So I wanna add my thanks to them um, to the, ha the thanks from the rest of the board. Um, then I would like to address one question related to the police reform and reinvention um, recommendations. Um, the last set of recommendations that, uh, um, uh, first of all, I'm grateful to be a part of the collaborative and look forward to continuing to work with the group um, to, as we move forward. Um, but the last um, recommendations we saw were just two recommendations. And I did send in a couple of comments. 
And I want to address the comment that I made on the first paragraph, which talks about um, people being protect protected equally. Um, and I want to say that being treated equally is not equity. And I think, I hope, what this village and this board is looking for is equity. Um, I propose some slightly different language, and I don't know if it's possible for you to consider that a minor change and you know switch those. Um, but I um, would really like to see just that that word change to make it equity rather than equality. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ms. White. Um, uh, Mr. Giaccio, do we have any other requests to address the board? Yes, we do. Marjorie Shu would like to speak. Ms. Shu, please um, go ahead. Please be reminded you have three minutes. Uh, good evening. Thanks for the uh, opportunity to speak. And uh, I'd like to echo everybody else's gratitude to John and Glenn for their service. And uh, good luck in your next uh, chapter. Uh, along with the police reform, it's equally important that our residents uh, report incidents. And so I wanted to make everyone aware, if they aren't already, that the Westchester County, um, as well as the uh, District Attorney's Office, have um, launched a Speak Up Westchester campaign encouraging uh, anyone who is a victim or witness to a, a bias incident or a hate incident or um, a hate crime to report it. And it can be reported uh, anonymously, uh, whether you're the victim or the bystander, you can report to the Human Rights Commission uh, to the website, which is www.westchestergov.com slash bias reporting or you can uh, report it to a new multilingual hotline. And that phone number is 914-995-TIPS, uh, T-I-P-S, which is uh, 8477. And they also have a website of um, www.westchesterda.net. And of course, if there's a, a violent incident or um, emergency assistance required, um, of course, call 911 and your local police department. That's it. Thanks. Thank you, Ms. Shu. Again, that um, number is 995-TIPS, correct? That's right. And a, a huge thing that I overlooked is that uh, there's a graphic available in um, five different languages, English, Korean, Mandarin, Japanese, and of course, most relevant to our community is Spanish. Uh, I believe I forwarded that information to you and Anthony, as well as our police chief. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your comments. Um, Mr. Giaccio, um, any other uh, folks requesting an opportunity to speak to the board? No other comments. Okay. Uh, I would just note as a, um, a partial answer to uh, the comments uh, from Ms. White uh, is that um, as, as was stated earlier, the most important thing about the collaborative is that it's continuing. Um, so there is an opportunity to um, make, uh, for the collaborative to make additional comments, uh, recommendations rather, uh, and to revisit recommendations that have been made. So I look forward to continuing that work. Um, that completes uh, our work for this evening. Um, can I get a motion to adjourn the meeting, please? So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Um, <clears throat> just uh, again, hey guys, I know we'll see you around, but uh, it's a little bittersweet. Um, <laughs> ending the meeting and knowing that I won't be seeing you there or in your respective chairs back at uh, 28 Beekman. Thanks again. Um, 
so much. All in favor, say aye. 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 Good night, folks. Thank you, Be John well. and Glenn. Thank you. Good night. Thanks, Thanks again, John and Glenn. Thank you, Sarah.